Jackson. People threaten me if I come to their town, they're going to kill me. And I love it like that because then I try to get there quicker. <laughs> Religious organizations tell me you come here, we'll run you out of town and you this, you MF this, and you son of a this. And these are all Christian people. Hey, they claim they're Christian. Hebrew Israelites told me they want to do this. I ain't really worrying about all that stuff. That don't move me. I mean, that don't move me. My God, man, I'm an independent free man. Huh? I done got so many threats I can't. Ku Klux Klan even threatened me. Man, I thought them fellas been retired. And I got a letter from the Klan out of Memphis. Wrote me and told me, you make us want to take out our sheets. You come here, I will hang you in our backyard. I felt so touched. <laughs> and when I got that letter, I told my secretary, find me a place in Memphis so we can hold our youth conference there. I told the Klan, I'm coming, and you better show up with your sheets. <laughs> Come to the word of God, I don't have sense enough to be afraid of you. Right. You're born of a woman like I am. You got to bow to God like I do, or you are go to hell like anybody else. Somebody asked me what caused you to decide to bring the convention here to Memphis. Was it because it was a new work? No. I was encouraged to come here by the Ku Klux Klan. The KKK wrote me. And they threatened me. They heard the truth of God's message and said that an uh, end, you know, because stations like to bleak me out. Right. And you that don't know what end means, <laughs> they said, a nigger like you should not be on television. They said, you make me want to go back and get my sheets. Lord. And they said they want to hang me in their backyard. Lord. So when I got that news, I felt so wonderful. I felt light on my feet. I felt very encouraged because they threatened me and said they're going to hang me. So, I didn't want their words to be in vain. <laughs> so we are here. Amen. God have not given us the spirit of fear, but of love and of a sound mind. That's right. I don't care if you Ku Klux Klan, skinhead, no head. We have white brothers and white sisters, brown brothers and brown sisters, yellow brothers and yellow sisters, dark brothers and dark sisters. We have all races in the truth of God. That's right. Ku Klux Klan is just a group of immature, ignorant men and women who are mentally ignorant, emotionally incapacitated, and physically unqualified, and spiritually dead. Amen. So you dared me to come here? I'm here. And I say like General MacArthur, I shall return. Hallelujah. So, I want to say to all the racist bigots, that hate the truth of God. I'm, I'm so glad that this message is making the devil mad. Oh, yeah. That's a good thing. This letter says, well, well, well. Mr. Gino Jennings, we have been watching your program for some time now. How did a black loudmouth son of a B dot 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 get on television? You're nothing more than a menace. Back in my day, knew their place, but you don't know yours. But we have no problem in showing you your place. 
You preach this stuff called holiness, saying it is the true religion of God, when everyone knows that Christianity is the religion. It sickens me just to look at you. Your tongue should be cut out. I just want to sick him a little more. Here. Amen. Say it sickens him to look at it. That's right. All right, read off. He said, it sickens me just to look at you. Mm -hmm. Your tongue should be cut out and your body dismembered so you cannot be found. Better yet, how about a good old-fashioned rope and bucket of tar? Perhaps this will shut your mouth. This writer says, we hate you. We despise you. And the sooner you are gone, the better off we all will be. We are that of the religion of Christianity. We'll challenge you anywhere at any time with the Bible and show you that Christianity is the right way. This person says, we heard you say you have been threatened before, but we advise you, Mr. Mother F. Something, Jennings, to take this letter sincerely. They conclude in saying, you son of a B. Not, not. All right, that's all? That's it. All right. All right. Good letter. Amen. Amen. I accept your challenge. Amen. You want to challenge holiness anywhere in America? Name the place. Name the time. I'll come to your town. Amen. I'll come to your town, your state, your country. Amen. Holiness is God's way. That's it. Calling me and it don't bother me. That don't bother me at all. No. But this is one preaching Amen. that you're going to have to hear and obey. That's right. Or the word that comes from the mouth of this is going to drop you in hell. That's right. You bear that in mind. That's right. Amen. Amen. 
and the fight is on. Sure, that's right. Anywhere in America. That's right. Holding it. That's right. It's God way. Amen. I don't care if your white as snow, like in the street, holding it. It's God's way. That's his way. Amen. If you want to use the Bible, let's get busy. That's right. Don't just talk. Stop writing. That's Save right. your ink. Save your email. It's time to do something. Amen. I've been getting a lot of threatening letters. I mean a whole lot of them. You threaten me. You threaten my loved ones. It's time now. Let's just get ready to rumble. That's right. That's let's, right. Let's do it. Amen. 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 One caller called in and said, Every time I watch you, you preach with anger every time I watch you. What you keep watching me for? <laughs> every time I turn you on, you're angry. I'm not angry. No. I'm happy. That's right. I'm a happy man. Amen. Very happy. Amen. And I love this stuff. That's right. That's right. And because I love it, Amen. I give my life for it. Amen. Go ahead. Take a Go ahead. Go ahead. I give my life for it. That's right. That's right. Telling me you going to kill me don't bother me. No, no. I don't lose sleep. Telling me that you want to snatch my tongue out. Amen. And dismember my body. That's right. And put a rope around my neck. That's Just right. do it. Do it. Amen. Stop talking. Do it. That's the right. The prophet tells me thou shalt not die. Live. That's right. But live. Live. Live the works of God. And declare go to God. Go ahead. The works of God. That's right. That's right. You know, they sought the prophets. Yes, they did. And they sought the apostles. That's right. They hated them. They hated them. Amen. And they hate us. That's right. But we ain't running. No, no. We ain't running nowhere. Amen. We won't run from you. We'll run to you. That's right. We will run to you. Go ahead. We load up church buses, get in cars. That's right. Get in vans, get on the plane. Amen. Yes, we will. Amen. Go ahead. Lord, hold up. Go ahead.
the prophets and the apostles they shall were fight. instruments of God. Yes, they were. They labored through the years to kill. If you take note of scripture, every time God sent someone, they labored to kill him. Kill him. That's right. That's right. The reason why they labored to kill any man that God sent was because that man was a trouble to Satan. That's right. That's what the devil said. Paul, I know. Know him. That's right. Paul, I know. Amen. Jesus, I know. That's right. But who are you? Who are you? Amen. That means Paul gave Satan much trouble. Trouble. That's right. Yet flesh and blood. That's right. Born of a woman. Amen. But the flesh and blood say if an angel. That's right. Come from heaven. Come from heaven. Preach any other gospel. And bring another gospel that differs from what he brought. Let the angels be cursed. That's right. So you fighters and give us those little threats. They shall fight against thee. Listen. In Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 19. Hallelujah. And they oh. shall fight against the thee. The scripture says they shall fight against thee. Against thee. But they shall not prevail against thee. Amen. We ain't gonna win. No win. That's right. That's right. Amen. They fight us from many parts of America. Oh yeah. If man was to fulfill all what he said he wanted to do to my body, I wouldn't be found nowhere. Yeah. I have received letters where they wanted to burn me. A lot of letters I haven't even read to the people. A lot of time I read in my office, just throw it in the trash. Want my body to be burned, dismembered, cut up, tortured. All because of one thing. Amen. Now, if I was other religion of Christianity, nobody would bother me. That's right. That's right. Nobody would bother me. Amen. Ain't nobody going to bother you. Amen. But being that we preach the religion of God, the way of holiness. That's right. And it makes the devil upset. That's right. Just like God had men working for him, Satan had men working for him. For him, amen. Amen. And then that Satan had men working for him. Amen. The objective is to fight that which is of God and destroy the people of God. That's right. Search the scriptures the people of God were slain, mm -hmm. tortured, tortured, saw the son of, put in prison. That's right. All this will happen to you when you desire to walk with God. So you find some people say, why should these things happen to me? And I'm a child of God. Why not? Amen. Brothers and sisters, if you cannot yet endure someone talking about you. Yeah. You cannot yet endure someone backbiting you. Amen. If you cannot yet endure someone make a mistake and bumped into you and checked. That's right. Then how can you yet endure giving your life for the greatest thing that has ever hit the universe? That's right. That's right. Book of Scripture teaches us, be thou faithful until death. Until death. 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 Amen. If God wasn't with me, let us like that and make me lose sleep. Yes, it would. Make me worry. That's right. Make me get nervous when I see strangers. That's true. But I ain't worried about nothing. Amen. Because I know Satan cannot go no further without God's permission. That's right. Okay? That's right. Do you understand? That's right. The devil can't go no further Amen. without God's permission. That's right. Satan must first get a permit Amen. from God. From God. Then work. That's it. Not before time. That's right. He must get a permit from God, then work. And the Lord said unto Satan. Listen. In Job chapter 1 and at verse 12. The Lord said unto Satan. God said to Satan. Behold, all that he had. All that Job had. 
is in thy power. Is in your power. Only upon himself. Only upon himself. Put not forth thine hand. Amen. If God give the devil charge. Amen. Take all the property that they labor to build. My Lord. Take his house. Amen. Take his wife. My Lord. Take his children. Amen. All that he has. I will not bow to Bill. My Lord, my Lord. Go ahead, go ahead. If he take my mother and my natural brothers and sisters, holiness. Amen. Will stand firm in this earth. Amen. You will never, hell will never That's right. break the back of Geno Genesis. Go ahead. You never do it. Go ahead. You will never do it. Amen. Someone said, don't never say never. You will never. That's right. Break the back Amen. of this old man. Go ahead. Never do it. Why? Never. God said, I'll be with you. That's right. While you be with him. While you be with him. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Wherefore the rather, brethren. Wherefore the rather, brethren. Give diligence give to make diligence your calling. Give diligence to make your calling. And election, election sure. sure. For if ye do these things. If ye do yeah. these things. Ye shall never. Ye shall never. 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 Never fall. Never fall. Amen. That's right. Like a char preserved. That's right. Go ahead. We're still here because Go God got us preserved. That's right. Yes, Lord. My enemies. Amen. You can get as hot as you like. That's right. We will remain. Amen. On this earth. Yes. As long as God said so. That's right. That's right. You won't cut the time short. Amen. Go but ahead. we will remain. Go ahead. By God's permission. That's right. And so far, I got that permission. That's right. To stay here. Amen. And pound the devil's head. That's right. Are you listening? Go ahead. Go ahead. Deliver me, O oh Lord. Deliver me. Amen. O oh Lord. From the evil man. From the evil man. Preserve me. Preserve me. From the violent man. From the violent man. Which imagine mischief. Which imagine mischief. Mischief. In their heart. I read all these letters. I read all this imagination. That's right. That people got in their heart. That's right. We want you dead. Amen. We hate to look at you. My Lord. You don't deserve to live. My Lord. One my man Lord. told me you should have been dead long ago. My Lord. I remember a man who claimed he was apostolic. Amen. Wrote a letter to my brother. His name is Prophet Forte. Yeah. An old classic false prophet. Amen. He wrote a letter to my mother. And this is the hate that he still has in him. My Lord. Since the day he met me in 1988. Amen. He wrote a letter to my mother. My mother gave it to me my and I read it. He told my mother the day you lay with your foolish husband. And that when his seed went in you, Hello. the moment you found out you was pregnant with Geno Jennings, you should have went and flushed him down the toilet. My Lord. Because I'm a trouble. Amen. To the old prophet. That's right. That's right. My Lord. My Lord. 
Hatred is hard to hide. Amen. Amen. But if a man expects to represent God, yes. you got something to endure. That's right. It is easy to say, oh, you know, I stand for this. I give my life for this. Have your life been tested yet? Amen. It's easy to talk that stuff behind four walls. That's right. First, let your life be tested. That's right. Then talk, I will stand. Amen. Then talk, I will hold on. Then talk, I will change. That's right. That's right. Then talk. But first, you got to have that experience. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, than that, you're talking based upon the way you feel like you will do. That's right. Listen. Deliver me, O oh Lord, from the evil man. Deliver me. Amen. If it be God's will, he'll deliver me. Yes, he will. If it don't be God's will, then he'll turn me over in the hands of my enemy. Oh, Lord. Don't say God will do that. He's done it in the scriptures. Oh, yes. Listen. De deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. What is it? Preserve me from the violent man. Preserve me from the violent. Violent man. Man. Which imagine mischiefs. Which imagine mischief. In their heart. Amen. There was a prophet named John. And there was a birthday coming around. That's right. And there was some mischief in a woman. Mischief. That's right. Who got tired of John's existence. Listen. In St. John, uh, rather in St. Mark chapter 6. Listen. And begin reading at verse uh, 17. Come on, John. For Herod himself had sent forth and laid hold upon John. Yes. And bound him in prison. Now John was the forerunner of the body of Christ. That's right. And the apostle, or rather the prophet John, was put in prison. In prison. Not because he done wrong. Amen. But because he done right. That's right. Listen. And bound him in prison for Herodias' bound sake. Bound him in prison for the sake of Herodias. His brother Philip's His wife. His brother Philip's wife. For he had married her. You see, John's preaching was against their marriage. That's right. And he didn't like that. Didn't they like threw it. him in jail because he preached against the kind of marriage they had. That's right. All right. For John had said unto Herod, John it is not lawful for Herod you. Herod is not lawful for you to have thy to brother's have wife. Your brother's wife, and that message got him thrown in jail. That's right. Therefore, that message of marriage got him thrown in jail. That's right. Because the message was the contradiction of the government. That's right. Huh? That's right. It was the contradiction of the government, so he got locked up for it. Amen. Listen. Therefore, Herodias had a quarrel against him. You see that? Amen. Had a quarrel against him. I can't even count the folk that got a quarrel against me all because of revelation, all because That's of what's right. in the book. That's right. Quarrel. Quarrel. Some I don't even know. Amen. Quarrel. Mm -hmm. Some I never even seen, but they have a quarrel. That's right. They have those who follow the preacher yet want to know more than the preacher. True. If you can know more than the preacher, you shouldn't be following them. That's right. Is that right? Amen. Then they want to quarrel, quarrel with the preacher. That's right. Because the preacher is blessed with an understanding that they don't have. Amen. Listen. Therefore Herodias had a quarrel against him. And, what? and would have killed him. Do you hear? And would have killed him. When you take a stand, mm -hmm. you'd be surprised what's in people. Amen. I'm talking about many of those that claim they got some Holy Ghost speaking in tongues, shouting right. and flopping around. Shout. That's right. That's right. But hate. Hate. Amen. That's true. I have first-hand experience on that. I had experience on that on numerous occasions. Even among some men that used to follow me. That's right. Hate. Hatred. That will plot and scheme what can we do to belittle him or try to embarrass him or try to challenge him. That's right. Hate is a hard thing to hide. It is. So when a person say, I love you, talk is cheap. Yes, it is. Old folks say, take money to buy land. Amen. Hate is a hard thing to hide because when you hate a position a person is in, mm -hmm. 
you become covetous. Amen. Then you begin to desire to be in that position or a higher position. Higher, that's right. So you a plot, scheme to that's do right. something to get them out of power. That's right. Even if they got to try to form a coup. Amen. You know, in the political world, if a dictator's uh, method of being a ruler is then contrary with what the needs of the people, sometimes the people are so oppressed, they'll form a coup to try to get them out of power. That's right. So a lot of times the word of God is preached so hard and so raw and so tough and so right. You have some of Satan's children that come right to God's house. Amen. Everything come in God's house, God don't send them there. No way. Some come right among us. Amen. For the sole purpose to spy out our liberty. Spy out your liberty, that's For right. Free in Christ. That's right. They have no intentions on ever being saved or ever obeying God's divine law. Amen. That's not even their purpose. That's not even their interest. So they come, come in. and study mm -hmm. and see who they can find among the weak and sinful. That's right. That they can pull to the side or pull on a phone. That's right. To pollute their mind. Amen. Because they don't want to be saved. They're on their way to hell, so they'll pull you down Amen. there with them. That's right. That's Are you right. listening? Amen. Amen. Listen. Therefore, Herodias had a quarrel against Herodias him. Herodias had a quarrel with them. And would have killed him. Would have killed 